Hey, what's up guys? Kind of Conservative Engineer, aka PE Exam Poppy. Just kidding, nobody calls me that. But let us do a problem on rotations. So beam rotations, you might just get something like this on your AM part of your civil PE exam. So let's just do a scenario. We have, um, you know what, let's do a, how about we do a cantilever beam, right? Oh, bear with me. This is Microsoft <laughs> Paint. Okay, so let's do a cantilever beam with a point load um, for, again, to make it easier, we'll do point load smack in the middle, and we'll call this maybe 30,000 pounds. So that, and um, let's span, again, just going over the concepts, right? So, just so you understand what exactly is going on. So, let's do six feet, six feet. So, now, they might ask you, what is the rotation at any given point? Let's do, what's the maximum rotation at point B? So this is point B, where the point load is hitting the beam, and point A is your fixed support. All right, so this is a simple plug and chug equation. All you have to do is you have to get your uh, rotation equation, which is probably going to be in your tables, in your slope deflection tables from your references now. I did not use a civil engineering reference manual, so I actually took a review course, and the review course had all the tables you need. So please take a review course and get their binders. Their binders, their tables are tabbed out. It is beautiful. That's all you need for the uh, AM portion, and they will definitely have this equation. Now, this equation I, I used in my uh, graduate school, so I do remember this equation for a cantilever beam with the point load. Your maximum rotation is just going to be P L squared over 2 E I. Uh, sometimes it could be negative, right? It just uh, depends on the sign convention. Um, okay, so since it's the AM part, they're going to give you a lot of the stuff you need because they're going to, I'm pretty sure they're going to give you a modulus of elasticity, right? So let's do your modulus of elasticity is going to be 29,000 KSI. That's going to be a given, okay? And they will definitely give you the moment of inertia. They're not, in the AM part, they're not going to give you, a, you know, the beam dimensions and make it do parallel axis theorem and find out what the moment of inertia is. Uh, they're probably just going to give you something like this. Let's do 150 inches uh, to the fourth. And that's it. I guess you're pretty much done. Because in this uh, equation, so P is your, po is your point load. L is the distance from the fixed support to that point load. E is the modulus of elasticity, and I is the moment of inertia, pretty much what we have. Now, there is one thing, though, you want to keep your uh, your units consistent, okay? Because if, uh, so you either got to choose, because look, your point load is in pounds, but your modulus of elasticity is in kips per square inch. So to make it easier, let's convert the pounds into kips. So you have 30,000 pounds is just going to be 30 kips. You should definitely know what the conversion from pounds to kips and kips to pounds. Because if you don't, then you might have to go back to school. <laughs> so one kip equals a thousand pounds. So now we have everything in kips and inches. This should be a simple plug and chug equation, right? So let's go back to our rotation equation. So what is P? P is 30 kips. Uh, I'm going to just put it in parentheses so we can, you know. L is going to be six feet, but remember, you want to keep your units consistent. So we're using inches. So how do you go from feet to inches? You multiply by 12. And we have to square this because it's part of the equation. Now we're going to divide this by 2. Multiply by the modulus of elasticity. And we're going to multiply that by your moment of inertia, which is 150. And what do you get? Let me do this on my calculator real quick. So you have... Doo -doo -doo. 30 times 6 times 12, we're going to square that, divided by 2 times 29,000 times 150. What you are going to get is, well, you, uh, hold on one second, 0 0.0179. And what is this unit? It's going to be in radians, rad. And that's it. That's your answer. But remember, this is a multiple choice uh, test, and you might not see this. You might see it in degrees. 
and you might get confused. All you have to do is conv convert the radians to degrees. That you might not know by heart, so if you want to actually uh, convert radians to degrees, it's just going to be so 0 0.0179, and the conversion is 180 times pi. And then let's do that. So on my calculator, 0 0.0179 times 180 divided by pi, you're going to get. Um, 1.2025 and that is going to be in degrees and that is going to be your answer so let's that's gonna be your answer so so how do we do this again you have a cantilever situation with a point load and you just have to get the formula the equation for the maximum rotation pl square over 2ei you're going to be given some givens and then you just plug and chug and you get you get the answer in radians you convert the radians to degrees and there is your answer all right well that's it very simple should not take you more than a minute to do saving you five minutes that you could do something else anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope this helps and i will see you guys next time